There must be it must have been a ton of surplus after the war. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he tells stories since he got since he got drafted late. He was in the occupation. He tells stories about just the amount of material that they <laughs> sank. Wait, why? Just because they had too much of it, and who gives a fuck? Or no, I think it, well, this may not. It's funny. I work for Caterpillar now, so this is this is nothing to do with my day job. This is what he he said at the time. Sure. But the apocryphal kind of story was, um, like the the tractors that they used to pull the howitzers, were essentially the same tractors. You know, Caterpillar made them for the war effort. They were very similar to the regular tractors that Caterpillar would sell. Crawl, you know, crawling, you know, steel tracked tractors they'd sell. And they might have had the equivalent of two, two to three years worth of Caterpillar's output in peacetime of surplus. <laughs> so you would have killed, and that's just one example, you know, same thing with GM, the same thing, you know. You had so so much, if you break one, you don't fix it, you just get the next one. No, no, if they'd have brought it and they'd sold it, you would have bankrupted some of these companies, these companies that just won the war for you, Ford, General Motors, Caterpillar, whoever. You had so much surplus equipment, if... If you sold it used and they repurposed all of it. Oh, I because you're cannibalizing their, yeah, their sales. Right. You're right. Got it. 